What kind of man will your son turn out to be? Raising boys can be a minefield. So with us in Coffee Group today, we have husband and wife authors and parenting experts, Ruth Kerr and Richard Aston. Welcome to you both. Thank you. Now, Ruth, let's start with you. What are the biggest misconceptions that people have when it comes to raising boys? Okay, I'd probably say that I, I think that because um, boys are, that they, they're not seen to have the same emotional range perhaps as girls because they like lots of activity and they're seen as more rough and tumble that somehow they don't have the same emotional range and needs and they do. And the funny thing is, is that people say to me with my three boys, oh so difficult, three boys, but I actually think my boys are going to be easier than raising long-term three girls. Oh yes, we have three girls and one boy. Boys are much more upfront. They do a oh. little bit of argy bargy and they get it out of their system, don't they? They do. Nowhere near as complicated as girls. <laughs> Nowhere near as complicated. No, Richard. Tell Maybe me. that's the next book. <laughs> yeah, that be. That'll be a long one. That'll be like double the thickness of this one. So, Richard, tell me about the work that you've been doing with um, boys for the last 13 years. I run an organisation called Big Buddy. We've been doing it for 13 years across New Zealand, and we work with fatherless boys, 7 to 14, and find them father figures, really. We call them mentors and, um, and match them up for lifelong relationships. These are little boys that will never have a dad in their life. So how do you match them up? Uh, it's an intuitive process. It's all done by men. Men can be intuitive. Did you know that? I do know that. Yeah, we just sort of make it up and just get a feeling of who should be with who. And, uh, and we, do, we do an extensive screening interviews with the men and the boys and mums, which is where the book came from, actually. All the big, long conversations we've had mm. with men over all the years has informed uh, part of the book. Because as much as we would like as women to think that we can do it all for our sons, there is a stage in their lives when boys really do need a male role model, don't they? Mm. Absolutely. And, and mums come to us in, in the hundreds, you know, saying um, they've done everything that they can, but there's something missing, and that something is a, is a good man. And boys just gravitate towards mm. men. They've got radars. Uh, like heat-seeking missiles, they find those guys in their life. And especially at a certain age, they hit that thing and they just want to hang around men mm. and do guy stuff. Six to seven, mm -hmm. that's mm. when it really starts hitting up. And our babies want to leave us and we find it really difficult, but they, they do they need this. They just need a little own. bit of distance, they don't want to leave you forever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Ruth, what do you reckon are the top tips to get out of this book for raising boys into being really nice human beings and nice men? <sighs> Um, I think that um, probably the, the biggest thing that we wanted to do was say, enjoy your boys. Yeah, they're fun. And um, to say to parents, don't be so hard on yourselves. Um, parenting is about leaning in. It's about self-reflection, being able to say, um, in any situation that didn't go well, I stuffed up there, and being able to apologise to who you have to apologise to and say, next time I'll do that differently. Right. Richard, do you have anything to add to that? Yeah, there's no perfect parents, and, we, and in the book, um, we have demonstrated that by ex <laughs> putting all our dirty linen in there. So we had to ask our kids permission to tell some of the stories, but we made lots of mistakes and we learned as we go, and that's part of being an authentic human being, really. And you know what's really great about that is that we like reading as parents, we like reading about other people's mistakes yeah, yeah, and yeah. the things that they do. So I'm really looking forward to this, our boys, everyday practical advice from New Zealand's big buddy, Ruth Kerr and Richard Aston. Thank you so much for joining us today uh, for your time and your expertise and for all the best of the work you're doing with the Big Buddy program as well.